So people talk about the 21st century being the age of biology, but one of the things that we have to remember is that that actually goes back to really the dawn of civilization. You know, the, the, the people that first started to domesticate plants and animals were actually doing biological manipulation or taking advantage of, of natural events and making selections. And that's continued through the Middle Ages with Mendel and the monasteries trying to figure out the sort of combinatorial process of genetics that we know about through the, the peas and the flowers of those peas. Uh, but then, you know, much more rapidly during the 20th century, as we started to understand how molecular biology works, characterized DNA, understood the whole paradigm of how that genetic information actually gets translated into different types of biological processes. So it started out as a, as a month-long course um, at MIT during their independent activities period in January. So uh, the students worked over their, in their January course um, and they loved it so much that they decided to turn it into a summer competition. For any teams out there who are looking to participate in iGEM, it's a great, unique opportunity. Um, and we like to say that iGEM is not e easy, iGEM is worth it. Uh, there's a lot of creative freedom for the students to um, come up with, with ideas for their own projects. Um, they largely fundraise their own money for, to work on these projects, um, to buy the equipment and the enzymes that they need. They make these amazing um, projects with really sophisticated results just over one summer. So it's, it's really amazing to see what um, young minds can produce. So one of the things that really is exciting about this competition is that it, it helps people to actually learn by doing. And we're really fortunate this year to have about 40 high school students from the Pittsburgh area from seven different high schools that are participating in, in an observation mode. And hopefully we'll be forming teams next school year or perhaps even the spring to, uh, to try out some of these things themselves. One of the really exciting things about holding this competition in Pittsburgh is that we have a wonderful set of life sciences companies here, from larger ones to small life science companies, startups of various sorts. A group of those companies is actually meeting with the students, and the students get a chance to interact with those companies to uh, find out about career opportunities, hopefully get a sense as to what, what Pittsburgh might be like as a place to work and live. Uh, we're drawing in students from all over these universities across the country, and they're top students. And if we can bring some of them to Pittsburgh to help be, uh, to populate these companies, to join the workforce, uh, that's going to be a really fantastic outcome.